Okay guys, uh, thanks for coming and checking this little video clip out. This is really just to introduce you to the last uh, plant response to the environment that we you may be addressing in your research. It's called allelopathy and here's sort of my description of what it is. I'm going to ask you guys to try to write a description using your own words after I kind of explain it. Allelopathy is basically the interaction of one plant with another where plants sort of attack each other using some kind of chemicals. Uh, using some kind of chemical. It's chemical warfare, basically, and uh, most of us don't think of plants as waging war on each other, but they're in constant competition for resources, just like every other living thing. Um, and they fight using chemicals. That's their only their only way of fighting with each other. One of the only ways they have of fighting with each other. So here's a plant. It's called tamarisk or salt cedar. You find it out west a lot. It's a pretty invasive species. It's hard on the environment, uh, and it's because of allelopathy. The plants here, growing here, produce a chemical that's found in all parts of the plant. It's found in the dead leaves, which are these little brown, needly looking things. It's found in the roots, and those chemicals inhibit or stop the growth of any other plants. So when you, once you get, despite the fact that they could grow there, there's plenty of water, the soil's right, but once these plants take over, they produce chemicals that make the soil uh, inhospitable or uninhabitable by other plants and this area of research or researching this topic is going to be considered called allelopathy. Now scientists are really interested in allelopathy. We have a pretty good understanding of how gravitropism and phototropism work but we don't really understand allelopathy very well because the chemicals that plants use are so complicated and they're different based upon the kind of plant. So here's an example of a research project being done using allelopathy. And you'll notice there's this field here, but there's this section in the middle that's kind of a darker green. Oh, thunder. Um, the reason for this darker green is because this plant has been genetically modified. So it has DNA in it that causes it to produce chemicals that kill, um, that kill weeds, basically. So there's fewer weeds in this section of the field, and that's why it looks different. So in here, it's mostly this rice plant, but there are some other weeds mixed in, so the overall look is a little bit different than right here. So scientists are interested in allelopathy to figure out if there's ways to get plants to produce their own chemicals so that we don't have to spray chemicals to... Um, to keep other weeds from growing, if plants can produce their own weed managing chemicals. Uh, and here's another reason we might be interested. This plant, this green plant here is called garlic mustard. It grows, it's an invasive species in Minnesota. It's really a, a bad invasive species because it takes over and it's allelopathic, or it appears that it's allelopathic. There aren't very many good studies about it yet, but it appears to be allelopathic and somehow it's able to chemically attack other plants. So with the exception of the trees that are growing here, no other plants are able to grow underneath garlic mustard. So we're interested in that as a because to understand that would help us to save our forests. Now, looking forward and what you're going to do with all the stuff you've been doing today. First, you're going to be choosing a plant growth topic that you want to test. So you can start thinking about this because you're going to choose one tomorrow. You might choose phototropism or geotropism, gravitropism. Those mean the same thing. You might choose thigmotropism or hydrotropism, which is a tropism you didn't learn about, but hydro means water. It's just the attraction of water. Or you might choose allelopathy and try to find out you know, if a plant that you pick you know, might be allelopathic, and I'll show you how to do that. Then um, once you've picked your topic, you're gonna design some research to test that plant response, and finally you're gonna report your findings and reflect on how well your research design worked, and that's the part uh, that you are gonna turn in as your assessment in the class. So, um, for and this will probably count for a couple of learning targets because there's several parts to your reflection. So um, I hope you've followed along with what we've been doing today. Tomorrow uh, we will be signing up for your topic that you would like to test and uh, getting started planting our seeds. Uh, see you in class tomorrow.